Hey guys, welcome today's, to today's wild hack. Uh, today I'm gonna to be working on modifying my cooler a little bit. I got this Grizzly 165 here, which I love. I haven't used it yet, but it's replacing a previous 100 quart and a 50 quart cooler that I would use for elk hunting and deer hunting. And the goal is I can fit a whole elk in here and up until I shoot that elk, I can also fit my food. So it's gonna take a lot less space in the truck. And it comes with these cool little dividers in here. Well, not the dividers just the place to put the dividers. See those grooves over there below the baskets? Uh, that'd be a great way to divide ice, food, elk meat, whatever it might be. So um, Grizzly typically supposedly sells these, but they're out of them as things have been. We've had short <laughs> issues on supply with a lot of items um, and I don't have time to wait. So I've got this piece of, um, I guess it's closed cell foam that I use typically with carpentry for cutting. I cut my sheet goods on here. And I had this spare piece, which just happened to be a little bit bigger and wider and taller than the cooler. So it should work out well. I'm gonna basically just cut the contour for that and make a divider, which, um, you know, actually might even make the ice preserve longer because I can keep it longer and in a tighter spot in the cooler all by itself. We'll see how this goes. So the first thing I'm doing here is measuring the total length of the inside of the grooves. I got 13 and a half on the inside on the bottom, 12 and a half from the outside. And then I got, uh, 15 from there on the inside and or outside and then inside and then 14 inches from the outside and I'm going to just put those marks on my wood and then I got 17 inches tall from the top of this lip which is where the lid comes in and the bottom of the cooler. So these track saws come in really handy for cutting these uh these non-square shapes especially when it's a bigger piece this isn't a very big piece I probably could have done this on the table saw but it would have required some jigs. So the track saw saves you a ton of time. I went ahead and already started. I first started by cutting the first square cut, which is just the length, making sure it's square and 17 inches long. And then I started by measuring, uh, I was 16 wide and I had to go to 15 for my first cut. So I measured a half inch, you can see my mark in there, and then a half inch where that cut is. And then on the bottom, I cut a quarter inch and a quarter off here or over here. You can see my mark an inch and a quarter from the edge there. And that'll give me that tapered shape for the cooler for the inside. That's where we're gonna start. Okay, so you can see we have a nice tapered shape. Should be the shape of the inside of the cooler. I won't know if it's a good fit yet until I cut in a half inch on each side. And I'm only gonna cut in the amount needed to match that groove. So I need to go measure the size of that groove and I'll make this cut first. This cut's gonna be an angled cut and I'll use the table saw for that. Okay, so these black lines sort of illustrate uh, where I'm planning to cut and you can see the shape of that inner groove from the cooler. I took the two inch thickness and I subtracted seven eighths of an inch, which is the distance from this point to that point. That gave me nine sixteenths. That's gonna be the depth of my cut from each side. Um, the track saw thickness is 3 sixteenths, so I'm going to actually set the saw for uh, 3 quarters of an inch, and that should bring the blade down to that corner, which is 9 sixteenths deep. Then when I get those cut, I'm going to find this angle and get it on the table saw to make that cut in there and cut those pieces up. Rinse, repeat, do it to both sides. Technically, it should fit. I have the saw speed set to level one so that the speed of the blade doesn't create enough friction to melt the plastic, or should I say foam? But technically, it's probably made out of a type of plastic. So to get that angle, I don't have a small enough angle finder, so I'm just gonna measure the outside, seven eighths, and the inside, nine sixteenths looks like. So since we're not building rockets here, I decided just to line the blade up with that line I made. And I'd say that's close enough.
finished product, or at least, I hope it's finished product. We're gonna find out. Look at that. Like a glove. Sweet, so now I can put my ice in here if I only wanna bring that much ice, and this can all be dry and organized, or vice versa. I could even just go like that, something like that. <laughs> Keep really cold stuff up top here that need to be easily accessible, uh, or just fill the whole part, part over there with food, and this can all be ice with a little cold spot on top. Pretty happy with how that came out. Anyway, guys, if you like that hack or you like this video, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, the more followers I get, the more interest I see in this stuff, the more of these videos I'll make. I'm always doing something to modify something, and it's just a matter of me remembering to hit that record button. Take care, guys.